Hi pals, my name's Jules and I'm a Scottish Highlander on a budget. If you're new here, welcome and if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for joining me on another video. Um, I hope you're all well. I am feeling very weird, very, I suppose, disillusioned a little bit. Um, I've finished with my job. Um, when I say I've finished with my job, I've finished with my main clients. I will be for the next three weeks. Um, continuing on and doing shopping for a client twice a week. Um, this is just purely until someone else can come in and take over. Um, but it's literally be passing the client's door when I come home from my other job, so it's fine. Um, I do. Um, I'm not going to be doing it permanently. It's literally just uh, for a couple of weeks until my my own holiday, and then after that, I won't be doing it. Um, but yeah, so yeah, it feels very weird to have left. Um, I feel, I don't know, I kind of feel a little bit, I don't know. I think it's very different leaving care than it is when you leave an office job or um, somewhere where you have colleagues that work with you all the time or you know, like a nursery, that I worked in a nursery, um, things like that. It's very different. There's no leaving. Not that I'm leaving to get gifts, but there's no leaving. Um, you know, you work with clients, so you're not, therefore not expecting them to buy you gifts at all. Um, but you also don't have any colleagues that you work with. Um, so obviously they're not, I mean, I have colleagues, but they work different clients, you know, so you don't, it's not the same unity um so yeah so i feel like it's gone very unnoticed that i've left um i have two managers that i deal with um regularly i suppose and neither reached out to say goodbye or thank you or anything like that um so yeah it's just made it very very clear to me that i have done the right thing by leaving um there was a little bit of a mix up with my start date for my next job. Um, they had it in their heads that I would be starting later. Um, although they asked me to hand them a notice earlier. But yeah, so it's been a bit of a kerfuffle to get the start date corrected. Um, so now I have an unintentional, unpaid week off next week. Um, which is good. It'll get me... Um, a chance to just decompress and get ready for my new job and um, let me get a little bit of time with Alan as well I know we've got our holiday but um yeah just let me get a little bit of time with him um if I'd known this was going to happen then I could have switched our holidays to this week <laughs> coming um and but anyhow it doesn't matter um so yeah so I'm going to have two unpaid weeks now um before i start and also there is a potential that obviously there can be a mix up with tax and you could pay more tax and all the rest of it um so yeah so i think money wise it's going to be very difficult for the next two months so i'm prepared for it which is fine i have my emergency fund i have challenges that i can you know dip in and out of if i need to so i'm not stressing at all about it on paper, it's going to look terrible, I'm sure. Um, I really am going to struggle. But, again, it's fine. I have the money. It's just in different places. Um, whereas if I'd done this three years ago... Excuse me, I've got the hiccups. I would not be in the same position. And I would be very, very stressed. And the credit cards would be getting used. Uh, the overdraft would be maxed out, as it was always. Um, so, yeah, so... It feels I don't I don't feel panicked about it. So I'm gonna have two unpaid weeks, although I will have a holiday pay. Um so I potentially should get like a full pay from the company I'm with just now. Um more or less. So yeah, we'll just have to see what happens um when it comes to my July pay on the twenty seventh. 
Um, I believe that the pay period for the new job will be on the 27th as well, so that works out grand. Um, I don't know if they pay you on the Friday early or if it's just on the 27th, so that will be something I'll find out. But for now, I have blethered long enough. We are going to do a budget for next week. So I had some additional payments come out. Um, which I'll go over in my close out so it meant that my rollover is a little bit less than what I'd hoped for which is mm, a bit naughty it's going to make it just that bit of a struggle um, if you wish to help me out the best thing you can do for me to help me out financially is watch my YouTube videos um, let other people know you're watching them um, encourage other people to watch them that kind of thing um, because that means I will get like a, a reasonably good pay from YouTube in August which will then help out if that makes sense so um, I won't get the payment in July um, but I will have June and July payment together and um, that will be paid in August so that will really really help me out and then come August obviously if you can watch all my videos um, as often as you can share them and encourage other people to watch them then it would, could mean that if I hit the £60 mark I'll get £60 in September which again will just you know just get it going um, but yeah so if you want to help out that way I would be more than grateful for that um, I'm not begging but obviously I want my videos to be watched I'm making them I'd love you to watch them so <laughs> anyhow let's crack on um, I'm not worried financially I know I will get there so please don't um, I can't, you can't see the calculator on the right in here. Um, yeah, so so don't be worrying about me. I will manage fine um, in the end. So, rollover, £110.68. Um, I'm going to bring in £307.06 from Etsy. Um, Etsy has gone on a go super, super go slow again. Um, I am going to do a sale for the next few days um, from Monday, I think, um, today's Sunday, um, just for three days um, and yeah, but yeah, Etsy's just gone super slow. I do have quite a few things to bring out, um, so hopefully if I bring them out, it'll give people a, a bit of a kick to come back and shop in my shop. Um, but yeah, so £110.68 plus £307 pound and six pence will leave me with four one seven seventy four um there's just so many amazing shops out on etsy that um i'm because i've been so used to having to rely on etsy to help me get through the month it's been stressful but hopefully with my new job i won't have to do that and i can get back to doing etsy just for the fun that i you know enjoyed um only netflix i think due to come out so that will be four ninety nine. I did have triple C in there, but it's already come out, so um I had to renew it for the job that I'm in. I have to renew it anyway, but I just did it a couple of weeks early. Um, groceries forty five, fuel thirty five. Now I probably won't need all this fuel because um. Well, I haven't used any fuel yet. I've got there. 30 oh i don't know 35 pounds i think in my purse for fuel for this week so i don't know whether to um top up today and then i probably won't need this or whether to save the money and use this i don't know but anyway we've got 35 pound in just now and i'll decide later on today what i want to do with that my spending we are going to roll the dice get my little this is from maya at I can never see it. Is it. Let me see if I can find her her card. It'll be easier. Chiba Maya World is what she's called. Anyhow. I love it. Absolutely love it. It's a brilliant. So I've got that from Maya and then I've also got my um, cash tray, not my cash tray, my coin tray from Holly's Budgets and then I have my cash tray from Holly's Budgets and then I do have my binder tray but it's got my binders in it so uh, I can't lift that down but yeah. 
I love it. Right, what are we doing? What are we doing? I am, as you can see, I'm a bit of a kerfuffle, a bit of a flap today. Um, I just feel really kind of weird. I, d I feel really weird having left my job. It's not something I do regularly. I don't really tend to leave jobs. Um, I know that some people maybe, you know, they change their job every, every so often just to get better pay and all that kind of thing. I don't. I stick it out. And I've st stuck out this company for seven years and it's there's been a huge amount of changes within it that's made me really wonder about why I'm staying. Um, but yeah. Okay, so we're going to kind of struggle to get this filled. So what we're really looking for is a heap of twos <laughs> to, yeah, I think we're going to struggle to get this filled and every gap that I don't fill it will be a ten pound so a square <sighs> see we're pushing so if I do it there then we are pushing that we have to get a six and a one for here and we have two gaps if i put it here we have to get a two or a six for here so yeah i'm still going to have the two gaps whatever way i do it so i think i'm just going to do this one which is five pound so five pound into savings and five pound into I wish I'd said ten pound now for the uh, five pound now for the squares. <laughs> I think I'm gonna be quite a few left over. So yeah, I've got five pound in my spending and five pound in spacers. Uh, Piper doesn't need anything and I no longer have work spending so that is an extra £10 I don't have to worry about um, and my Safiano um, is going to get £10 which I'll go over in detail further on so we have 45, 35, 5 and 10 so £95 went into the purse I didn't finish up here I'm, ch I'm talking too much so 41774 minus the 499 from my bill is 41275 then I'll take the 95 pence or pound off which leaves us with 31775 um, I've already pre-done this but let's have a wee look and make sure that this is what we want to do so I am not putting anything in any of these, but vet fund. Nothing is going into binder two. Car maintenance is going to get five. Car insurance has been paid. Um, nothing into birthdays, but ten pound into holidays because we do need to make sure we've got enough money for holiday. And eating out is getting ten pound, and obviously Christmas is getting thirty. Um, so yeah, so that is. Safiano's there and then we have 5 plus 15 plus the 30 for Christmas um, £10 for cabin break and then we have Soph's collab pop that back in shut that over so £10 is going into cabin break and I don't really need to sit that out. I do it every time, don't I? So yeah, we'll move this over and we will get my colour dice. So again, I've got the wrong dice. I've ordered new dice. But um, this one here is now, it was orange, it's now pink. Purple. Oh, I've already got a purple in that one. Anyhow, purple is typically 10. You know the times when you don't want to be spending a lot of money. 
it's fine though. I can take the money out of any of my savings challenges. I don't have to continue them. I don't have to complete them if I don't want to. So I already did this and I cleared it. 30 and then 20 is 70 pound going into basically sinking funds because these two are actually sinking funds. Um, so 317.75 minus 70 is 247.75. And then the monthly challenge and the 52 week challenge both get um, £10 each. We're all mad here. So we've got 20 or a 5. I pretty much guarantee we're going to get the 20, aren't we? Let's have a wee look. Yep, knew it. <laughs> but it needs to be complete for next week anyway, so either way, we're going to get the 20. But what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to skip Adorable Friends and I'm going to skip auditions for this week um, and probably for next week. And then Save All You Want and Penny Challenge are... Um, the leftovers from here. So we've got 10, 20, 40, 45. So 2, 4, 7, 75 minus 45 is 202, 75. And then minus 10 pound for the extra debt is, I don't know why that did that, 192 I think. Let's just do it on the calculator to be sure. 202 minus 10 is 192. 192.75. So, I don't know what bills we have. Uh, but TV license and broadband next month uh, next week for the last week um so we might just make it with that but if not i'll bring in some money from a challenge somewhere um but yeah that is us for today i hope you enjoyed this video um i feel like i'm very mon monotone today i do apologize for that but yeah um it just feels very surreal to have finished my job i think and that's kind of not stressing me out, but making things a little bit weird and making me feel very weird within myself. But, um, but yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Life is good. I'm going to be moving on to a, not, not a much better job because I love my clients. But, you know, it's like a different company and it's more secure. Um, but yeah, I am looking forward to it. But anyway, I just wanted to quickly show you before we finish. So I, um, this is not technically happy meal um it is and it isn't um it is happy meal for me it's not technically budget and happy meal for anybody else um or at least i was not expecting it to be so i've opened it because i kind of knew what it was um so it does obviously this uh package would extreme cause extreme happiness which it actually did um i've repackaged it uh, so yeah I was speaking to no I saw a post and um, a young lady was saying should I buy these thing these items and I was like yes you should 100% because I would definitely and then she messaged me back and said oh definitely going to buy them and uh, I would like to gift you one so I don't usually take gifts. I don't often take gifts, should I say. Um, but yeah, I, I had to say yes, please. So this is what came in the package. And um, I love it. So all these stars, which I've picked back up and put in here for the benefit of the the video. But they went everywhere <laughs> when I opened it. That first. I was in my bathroom, so it was fine. But yeah, so it's from Bethany Budgets. So this is her little card. I love the little cut out here. Um, so she technically didn't order me or or blah. I didn't order it, but she kindly gifted me this amazing 
challenge, which wasn't part of the deal, but I absolutely love it. So it's like a Stanley Cup, you know, the, what everyone's loving. But these are the little straw toppers. I haven't got mine with me, but these are little straw straw toppers to go on top of it. So you pop that on top of the straw um, and it just protects your drink. Now, I hate bugs. Um, I always check my straw. I always lift the straw out to check there's no spider in it um, and then check the, the juice bottle. Just make there's no spiders in the bottom. But yeah, so that'll save me being a little bit too weird <laughs> about my bottle. But I'm I'm so excited to use these. Yeah, they've been sitting there for a few days now and I'm like, I want to use them, but also watch them on the video. But aren't they just absolutely amazing? So she said she was gonna give me one, she's gifted me two, and um I absolutely love them, so thank you very much, Bethany. I really, really do appreciate it. Um, and yeah, this is her newest challenge. So I've never actually bought from Bethany's shop um, up to this moment. Um, but it is amazing quality, really thick and um, well made. And yeah, if you're looking to buy a new Stanley Cup or for anything, but this is, yeah, absolutely amazing. So thank you so, so much. I truly truly appreciate it and um not so much the stars i'm not gonna lie <laughs> as they went all over my bathroom floor um i don't know very about anybody else but i'm definitely a, a bathroom mail opener probably disgusting actually when i think about it um yeah maybe i should stop that <laughs> yeah i think it's the only place where i actually really properly sit down and just can focus on my letters. <laughs> oh, maybe I'm giving away too much here. That's maybe that is really disgusting now that I'm thinking about it. Um, but yeah, thank you again to Bethany. I really, really do appreciate it. Thank you. And by the way, your writing is so neat, absolutely beautiful. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna pop these back in here. I'm not gonna pop that in, but I'm gonna pop them in there. Dispose of that. And yeah, thank you so much and I hope you enjoyed this video and I will catch up with you all. I'm going to go and sterilise them actually. Um, catch up with you all very, very soon. So take care and have a good one. Bye.